Welcome back to another clay video. Today, we are going to create Yoshi's Island from Super Mario World 2. Let's begin creating Yoshi's Island, and also our first clay video after hitting 10,000 subscribers. We're going to start with the main water layer, and for this I've mixed together white and blue, but as you can see I've only slightly mixed them together to keep these swirls in it, and I think that this looks really nice for a water effect. We're also going to be using this paper printout. I always use these when I create maps, they're extremely helpful to get the right shape of the islands or maps or whatever you're creating, and they're also really helpful to make sure you get all of the different things like the mountains in the right position. If you're interested in making this map for yourself, I will leave a link in the description for this map printout that I used. With this tan clay here, we are creating the main piece of the island. After we remove the excess clay, we can put this onto our water. And as you see, around the water there's this sort of whitish blue, sort of like waves crashing against the island. So we're going to use this mixture of clay to get that effect, and hopefully with smearing it with this tool, and also our fingers a little bit, we can get a really nice natural water look. Let's take this paper printout again, and let's remove all of the tan stuff in here, all of the sand. For now we're going to be creating the grass, so we need to have it to be the perfect shape of just the grass. We'll put this onto some bright green clay and start tracing out the shape of our grass. And the parts that had the sand in them we will fill in with some tan clay after we get the grass onto the island. Using the template again we can figure out where those little sand spots were and remove those. I was really excited to start creating this map because it's been quite a while since I made the map from Super Mario World, and it's sort of like continuing the series making Super Mario World 2. Sadly, there's not a Super Mario World 3, but there's plenty of other Mario maps or maps from other games to create. If you guys have any ideas of maps you would like to see created, you can let me know in the comments. Now that we have all of our sand filled in, we can start working on the water. We need to remove this tan section, and we'll take some more of that water that we had, the blue and white mixture from the main layer, and we can stick it in there for the lake. The big difference between this map and the Super Mario World 1 map is that this map you don't actually walk around in the game. In Super Mario World, you actually follow the entire map as you go to the different levels, but this one is really just on the title screen. The different details in the map do represent locations on the island, but it's a lot different that you don't actually travel on the island. Here we have our snowy mountains. I think this is my favorite detail on the entire map. We can use our finger to sort of push it down, and this gives it more of a cartoony look, having all of these ridges. This is where our paper map comes in very handy to figure out where exactly these will go on the map. Now we also have some of these smaller ones, some of these green mountains. And we have even smaller versions of those going around them. The next thing we will start creating is the trees, the pine trees that we can see on the island. We have this very, very dark green. To create these pine trees, we're going to make a couple different layers. And this is the idea I came up with when I created Pallet Town, and it worked out really well for that. We have the point at the top, and after we roll them all together, we can use the knife, and this will add in all of the different details like the pine needles on it. It just adds a little bit of extra touch to the tree. We also have the base of the tree, and I've created a bunch of these. I counted on the map however many there are, and I matched that exact amount, and we're going to hopefully be able to put them into the same places they are on the map. We also have some smaller trees, these really tiny pine trees. We're not going to add any extra details to these however, I think they look just fine how they are. 
Now using our paper again, we can figure out exactly where these pine trees go by placing them right underneath where they are on the paper. And we can do the same with the little pine trees as well. These trees look pretty good, so let's move on to creating the volcano. We'll add a little bit of wool at the end to create this smoke effect, and I think it makes the volcano look really cool. On the top of the volcano, we need to spread out this lava, and then we can fill in the center with some black. We take the dotting tool to make the hole, and fill it in with a ball of clay. Our next detail is this little platform we see. There's two of these going around the island, and they have this mosaic pattern on them. I've just made all of these random edges, sort of like triangles and diamonds. And on top of that, we need to add a little bit of grass. And I'm going to use the technique that I've been using lately to create grass. And we're going to use the knife and just stab it a bunch of times until it lifts up enough that it looks like some grass. This is a really easy technique, but it looks really, really nice and adds much more detail into your creation. Let's get those into place along with the volcano and we'll start creating Yoshi's house. This is pretty much exactly the same on the Super Mario World map, except this one is a bit brighter green. We can begin creating our very, very tiny Yoshi. I thought that I made this really tiny, but it turns out it's actually too big because Yoshi is much bigger than his house. But I still think that it looks really nice, so we're going to keep it. We need a little bit of white for the eyes here, and then tiny, tiny little balls of black clay. We have the arms, and you can see just how tiny this little Yoshi is. Let's put him onto his feet, and our Yoshi is complete. So let's get his house and Yoshi onto the map. See, Yoshi's a little bit taller than his house, but we can just pretend he would fit inside of there. This will be the wizard tower we see, or at least it looks like a wizard tower to me. We need this red triangle for the roof. And we'll add in all of the window details after baking. This is going to be the little castles. These are really easy to create, especially with this tool. I tried using a knife at first to cut out these edges, and it just didn't work very well, so this tool seems to be much better for the job. Now we need to create all of these little doorways that go on the castle. We have four of them going around the castle on each of them. And we also have these little towers. There's four towers going around the castle, but only going around the castle that's in the water. And again, we will create the different details on it using a marker after we bake it. We can get those into place for now though. We also have these little stepping stones to get to the castle, and the other castle goes in the back. And we have one more detail before we start creating some of the more scenery, like the flowers. We have this little tower, which doesn't look like much now, but it will look a lot better after we paint on some more details. We have these flowers over here, which are in clusters of three. We have these sort of peach colored balls, and we'll stick those onto the stems. This was pretty hard to get on because they're so tiny, but I think that they look pretty good. Over here, we have a different kind of flower. These are much easier to create. We just have some leaves on the ground, and then for the flower itself, we're just gonna use a ball of red clay. And although it's very basic, I think that it looks very good. Moving on, we have some tiny, tiny trees. We need to attach the tree trunks onto them. And we have a bigger version of this that we'll create after we place these onto the map. Although I don't think anyone would really notice if these were in the wrong place, but I'm using the map to try to make sure they're exactly where they need to be. Now using all of these balls of green clay, we can create these bigger trees. And this was a strategy I made when I was creating the Mario Kart stage, Moo Moo Meadows. And I think that these look really nice for a tree, much better than just a big ball of clay. 
Let's cut out the tree stumps and get those onto the trees. Now we can place these all over the map. I thought it was very interesting that a lot of these trees are in the water. It seemed kind of strange to me, but I guess trees do grow in the water sometimes. Now, again, with a bunch of balls of clay, we're going to be creating the clouds, except this time we're going to roll them together not as much as the trees, because we want it to be very, very puffy. These little triangles are the buildings that go on top of the biggest cloud. We'll use a marker to add in some more details, but for now, we are ready to get baked. After baking, we can remove it from the tray and start working on all of the details. First, we have the paint marker, and this will be to create all of the different windows and doors on this tower. After creating that first red tower, I figured out it's a lot easier to take these off the map and then just super glue them back on. We have windows going around this entire tower, and let's glue that into place. Now this first cloud, which is what I was going to do with all the clouds, I just stuck on the side of the mountain, but I feel like it didn't look very good for these ones on top, so we're going to create some holes using this thumbtack, and we'll stick this very thin wire inside of there. After trimming all these wires, I wanted to make them blend in a little bit better, so I'm using this white paint marker, and we'll attach the clouds into them. Now we have the other cloud, the biggest cloud, floating above all of the mountains. So let's create the wire for that. And we'll take the black paint marker again to create the windows on here. And for our final detail, we are going to take some gray wool. And this is going to be for the smoke on top of the volcano. But it's a little bit messy, so let's give our volcano a bit of a haircut. And finally, here it is! Yoshi's Island from Super Mario World 2. I hope you all enjoyed the creation of Yoshi's Island. It was super fun to create, and if you enjoyed this video, you might also like the map from Super Mario World. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.